This series is named after the western coastal region of Greenland. An area known for its masses of floating icebergs calving from the inland ice glacier into the seafjord. Evidence suggests that Greenland was unknown to Europeans until the 10th century, when Icelandic Vikings settled on its inhabitable southwestern coast. Since their arrival, the list of explorers has grown long. In summer 2019, I traveled there to take photographs for an ongoing series on mountains and relief. Passing by the drifting giant icebergs, it is difficult to comprehend that they are about to melt like ice cubes in a glass of water. The floating landscapes of these moving giants in the monochrome setting were purely sublime. But as I later discovered, they were difficult to describe with photography only. Particularly on this one, I was testing like five little prints and that didn't work out the way I wanted. The difficult thing is to, to find the right color for the right use. Here, Disco Bay takes place halfway between photography and painting. Being a photographer like 25 years ago, it was a long process. And this, this speed, this slow speed, helped a lot to see things clearly, to have distance. And when you don't have time to reflect on what you did, and when you don't have time to edit in distance, you don't see the pictures. I constantly aim to reach a certain point of dimensional shift. The original landscapes transform into a more mystical hidden place. Perhaps I'm celebrating this very moment when the image becomes, with a drop of paint, something else. Something singular. One could read this work as a gesture of repairing and conservation. A protective veil draped over the slowly melting icebergs. Through this intervention with paint, the landscape reflects its natural, unique fragility in a different way. In some of the works, the original photograph nearly or completely disappears. In parts, the paint intervention shows new landscapes and new singularity. I learned that each iceberg had its own personality. They did not let me work on them always in the same way, like persons and the melting lines that appear when they slowly lift from the water leave graphic marks on their sides, like scars. Funny, it's... This thing is now like... It's become something else. And this something else is a big surprise. <laughs> Sometimes you see seals here. As an artist, I'm interested in ephemeral and hidden spaces. 
and the memory that places possess. Ice is a geological memory of our planet's history and development. As ice vanishes, we lose this memory. Nebulous ghostly paintings take the landscapes into abstraction, touching on questions of losing memories that vaporize into the void. I'm of course aware that expressing geopolitical consciousness through art is not enough for change on a bigger scale. But using art as a voice and platform for ecological themes does matter. Art contributes to the geopolitical relevance of acting accordingly before the melting, the collapse and the vaporization of memory.